since the sun rose over the horizon for the first time in the middle of February, days are lighter and lighter. The transition between polar night and the midnight sun is only two months. Only two months we are having proper days and nights. However, already now in the beginning of April there are no really dark nights anymore, rather twilights. Sun is just hiding for the short and shorter periods of time. It simply means that one day it's not going to leave us for the next four months of the midnight sun. Sun sends a pleasant warmth to our faces, but our bodies are still covered by wool layers and windproof clothes. It's not warm at all at the moment. The average temperature is already higher than in March, about minus 10 degrees, but some days strong arctic winds rain over the white valleys and forest-free tundra. It makes the environment inhospitable and challenging. Nevertheless, we still love this weather, whatever the face it shows. The weather in the summertime is not especially warm either, on average plus 5 plus 7 degrees. I hope you understand why warm sweaters are in high demand. I personally wear a sweater not only in cold winters but also in summertime, and I know most of the people do the same here. I don't remember if I already told you, but if you follow my Instagram, you already know that I was working on my old part in Bjorn Dahlen sweater. I had made it for small kids up to 4 years old, but now I have extended the range of sizes and the part is about to be released in May with sizes up to 10 years old kids. If you already bought the parton until 1st of May, you can just write me a message and I send you the new version. This one I made from Dalegorn yarn, also known as House of Yarn. This brand is originally from Norway, the quality is excellent and it's nothing more to add about it. I was using clonolin wool, 100% sheep wool. I bought one skein of 50 grams for 45 krones on the island. Let's say about four and a half dollars, which is relatively cheap for this brand. Here you can see two colors version that is basically what I had from before with uh, some insignificant changes. This was actually for two year old kid, but I'm going to use it on my one year old girl as uh, you know kids are growing fast and anyway I like sweaters to be a bit oversized to keep warm air inside. I also didn't put any other colors here on sleeves as uh, mainly for small kids sometimes it's inconvenient to have. However, another version of the same sweater consists of three colors. For the three colors version I was using Drops Design Yarn Lima. This one is much softer than uh, lanolin wool from uh, Dali Garn, but I guess mainly because Lima is a blend of wool and alpaca. Both sweaters are knitted bottom up, I normally start each sleeve separately, then I start the body part and join all together on one needle at approximately chest height. Then work the yoke pattern and finish with the neck. As soon as the pattern will have been released, I put a link in the description where you can purchase it.
I know nowadays everything is easier to find on the internet. That's an amazing tool we have. Helps us to find all information we need, lessons, patterns and so on. But as in old days, I love to go to the library and fortunately the library in Longibin is amazing. As my kid has started in kindergarten, I can finally come here alone. Such a pleasure touching the pages, absorbing pictures, color combinations, the way pattern of written. Everything gives me so much inspiration that I cannot wait to start new projects again. If you have a library in your vicinity, don't hesitate to have a look. Surely they have some books about knitting. At least it's good for your inspiration even if you struggle reading the written patterns. I find here many ideas, especially from books that refer to traditional knitting and history. In January I ordered some yarn from China and wanted to see how it will work for multicolor sweaters. In March I finally received it. Look what I have here. Minky yarn is soft and fluffy and usually consists of two threads. One is the main one and one that is supposed to fortify it. The main thread I can tear quite easily, without almost any resistance. With the second thread it is a bit more durable, but still possible to tear apart. Unfortunately the dark marine color is not exactly how it looked in the picture. It's much darker than I needed. You can see the big difference in color tones. I'm also wondering whether this yarn will lose colors after washing. Another question I have about um, this yarn is how the color work will look since the yarn is so fluffy. Many questions I have. First of all I'm going to make a sample, then rinse it and figure out how it could be used. about my current projects, about some yarn I bought and as you see now I'm also working on another one project that is kind of secret project so I cannot really uh, tell about it much at the moment 
and I cannot really show you the pattern I'm using because I'm constantly working on it, improving it, editing it, so I'm not even sure how the final pattern will look like. But of course, I will tell about it more next time. Thank you for watching this vlog and see you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.